Oh, McGuire, Grimes, ABC, Minneapolis, Jennifer, Lucy, it is really great talking to both of you today. You both are fantastic and the mother is really entertaining. So thank you for the time today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, no, Jennifer, I want to start with you. You've done plenty of action films before, but how did this one test you differently? And does your background in dance kind of come in handy with the fight choreography? Absolutely. I mean, um, being athletic and kind of loving working out and, um, and dancing helped me tremendously with this role. The role was very challenging and that I I did have to learn a lot of fight choreography and do a bunch of like stunts, learn how to work with a knife uh, for a knife fight, you know, learn how to put a sniper rifle together, learn how to shoot, um, a lot of different things. So it was it was definitely challenging, but a lot of fun. You would think I would get a role like this like in my 20s or 30s, but to get it now is, is very empowering, I thought, and kind of uh, very exciting uh, to be able to play and to see. Absolutely. I mean, when I was watching the character, I kept thinking about like the Jason Bournes and the James Bond, but to yeah. see like your character in your career now and a mother going through it, I thought was a really fun angle. So Thank I, I you. Love that. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, of course. Now, Lucy, you're relatively new to acting. What did yeah. you take away from working next to Jennifer? Her work ethic a lot and how <laughs> motherly and how even though she was this, you know, goddess, she is this <laughs> goddess and an icon, to everybody she was so nice i remember that you know she'd get hand warmers and she'd ask for some hand warmers for me too you know she gave me a lot of tips and we talked about life in general and i think that i learned a lot from her yeah i like working together i, don't have, I yeah. love working with other actors and especially younger actors because i remember myself you know, and h how I wish somebody would have been with me and embraced me and helped me in different scenes instead of leaving me to think for my, you know, so sometimes it was like I always wanted her to feel secure so we could really have uh, freedom and fun in the scenes where she just felt really comfortable and safe to do whatever she wanted to do and there was no mistakes and that, you know, try it this way, just do this, just do that. And you could tell, like, yeah. We would talk about the scenes mm -hmm. and we'd analyze the angles and everything and I feel like I could yeah. tell that you, you know, you wanted to, you know, every perspective, you know. Yeah, I want to think about the whole thing so we could do it well. Yeah. yeah. I, I love hearing how collaborative that was. And Amari and Nikki just sung your praises to Jennifer as a producer. Oh, thank you. So that's great. You know, with this coming out around Mother's Day, I want to talk about our mothers. What is it, Jennifer, what is something that you found admirable about your mom that you try to instill in your children? I mean, my mom was full of energy and life, and she really inspired me to become an entertainer and a performer. She was quite the performer herself. She still is. She'll come to my shows and then be dancing in the first row. People will be watching her instead of me. Like, she is a force of nature and um, can really take over a room. And she taught me a lot of things. She taught me to be, you know, happy every day and wake up with a smile and laugh and, you know, not to ever you lose that childlike joy um, that I think as adults we can do sometimes. You know, we forget that there is, and she's very much that way even to this day. I love it. I know when you've been on The View, she's been with her, with yes. you in the audience. They, they, they like point the camera at her and I think it's so great. I got the wrap. It was great talking to you. It's been an absolute honor. No, this is lovely. Oh my God, I had thank a blast. You. Thank, oh, thank you. you. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Wire Grimes, ABC of Naples. So, Mario, it's really great talking to you again. I thought that bond yes. was really interesting. So thank you for the time today. I, I appreciate it, man. I, I love seeing you again. And by the way, CDs or books? What do we have behind us? That's books. They're all movies. Oh, those so are movies. It's my big movie, our movie collection. Yeah, wow. That's thank a lot. You. Yeah, that's a lot. That's almost intimidating, man. Thanks. I, we really, t I take good pride in it, so thank you. I love it. I'm curious, you've done quite a few action movies lately. What has been the train? what was the training like for this one? And was it more intense than what you're used to? <laughs> well, the running. The running was pretty freaking intense. The physicality of that which came via the fight scenes, not as much. I've definitely had to get down with fight scenes and different ways. And obviously, as you know, six and a half years as, as Ghost, there's been that. And then Army of the Dead, obviously there's been that. Shot Caller with, with Johnny B and Nicolai Costavalda, there's been that. You know, Johnny B as in John Bernthal, who's one of my best friends. So there, and in their own right, there's been moments where in those movies, there perhaps was more training. But in this, it was the physicality of doing the fight scenes combined with the sweltering heat, combined with running about, I don't know, freaking 
75 sprints in four days, right. and each sprint yeah. was about 150 yards. So there was the yeah. knees and the, and the cobblestone, and I'm wearing high-tech boots and pulled hamstrings, and it was pretty grueling. It's fun. You know it's I mean, all fun. Yeah, oh, for sure. It's I mean, I feel good. like I need to be cast in action when we just in my <laughs> year and, like, lose some weight. You ha- no, you're like, good. Yeah. You're good. That'll, that's a great incentive, though. I mean, that would work. That- <laughs> uh, absolutely. Someone's, like, forcing you and paying you to and do it. And pay you that. to do it. That part. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what surprised you most about working alongside Jennifer Lopez, not only as an actress, but also as a producer on the film? Right. Um, well, as a producer, for sure, it stood out immediately because I'm in the throes of, of producing, and uh, which Jen yeah. thought. Jen thought, you, Omari, need to produce. Your brain is that of a producer, and I'm aware of it, and was aware of it forever. And if you say, Omari, what is that brain? I, I just think that brain sees everybody on set, you know? The actor is really about the actor. I just... I might not really like actors, to be honest with you. I know. My actors are like, we are striking. The writers are striking, and now we're striking. We're striking Omari. No. All of the actors who I trust and respect equally, who trust and respect me, they understand what I'm saying. The producer thinks about the well-being of everyone. And so um, some of us innately think that way, you know? Um, Middle kids definitely think that way. I think Jen's a middle kid. I think we both are middle kids. And uh, I know J. Cole's a middle kid, right? He wrote a song about it, Middle Child. But I definitely think that uh, beyond that momentary staring at her stare at all around and make sure that all around is good, when she gets back into that place, which her incredible team aids in that happening, of being just the doubt in actress that she is or actor that she is, um, I think for me what I, what I was able to most get was that the person that she is while being that. And so sometimes, either before the cameras were rolling or after they cut, we were holding hands when the camera wasn't rolling yet. And then once it rolled, obviously letting go, then when it cut, back to holding hands. And then, oh, that's lunch, hug each other back, back at it. There was a rhythm, there was a synergy, there was a rhythm, there was a trust of each other in a climate where it's definitely become more difficult on set for people to trust each other. It was very interesting for Jen and I to really just dive in and go, I got you. You got me? I got you. I got you. Cool. And that's how it was. It was great. It. Yeah. I love hearing that. And every role in the film is important. You know, in front of the camera, behind the camera. I got the rap. Thank you for the time today, Mario. Thank you, man. You. I, I appreciate it. it. Add to that collection behind Thank you. you. Keep adding. Paul McGuire Grimes, ABC Minneapolis. Nikki, it is really great talking today. I had a lot of fun with the mother. It's really entertaining. So thank you for the time today. Oh, you're so welcome. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. You too. Now, tell me about the working relationship with Jennifer Lopez, knowing that she's going to be both a producer and your lead actress in the film. Yeah, um, wonderful, wonderful collaboration. She and I are similar in that we're both mothers. We both have teenage children. Um, We had very, very similar um, responses and instincts to the material. And so the fact that she was both my, my partner as the lead actor, but as a producer also, just meant I was in this sort of beautiful bubble where the vision of the movie was shared and, um, and, and we were able to go to work each day and execute it, you know, to the highest standard. It was, was brilliant for me. Absolutely. Oh, I love hearing that, that, that she is such a really great collaborator. I think that's so yeah. great to hear. I'm curious, when does Netflix come into the picture? And does working for a streaming service affect your creative process differently than maybe another large studio or a distributor? Mm. No, it doesn't. I mean, I mean, Netflix came into the picture as the, as the entity that was willing to finance this movie to the degree that it needed to be, and, and kudos to them. Um, I'd be lying if I said that, you know, as a filmmaker, I'm 100% thrilled that that a movie like this doesn't get to live on the big screen, obviously. But but the fact that it, it gets to be seen by anybody at any time, like, mil- you know, in two weeks, millions of people will may have seen this film and right. and that that's a new experience for me as a filmmaker um and and I like that I like that very much
Oh, absolutely. I mean, the accessibility that Netflix offers is yeah. tremendous. I love that you got to work with Paul Racy in the film as well. And I'm curious, you know, both he and the character are veterans. Yeah. How valuable was him to provide that very complicated and very mm. individual mindset that our veterans go through? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, I prize authenticity above many, many, many things um, as filmmaker. Um, and so I, I didn't know that Paul was a veteran when I cast him. I, I pursued him relentlessly after, because I saw him in Sound of Metal, and it's like, oh, we need oh. that guy. Um, Dying. Yeah, yeah, incredible. And and so then to learn that he was a veteran and to have benefit of his experience, um, you know, in prep, he and Jennifer and I sat down and he really candidly talked us through it, through his experience and 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 most pertinently life after the military. It was it it was a real gift to this movie. Oh my God, I love hearing that. I'm curious, you know, when I was watching Jen's character, she reminded me of like a Jason Bourne or a James yeah. Bond. And like yeah. she's this ja badass jack of all trades. I'm curious, did those types of characters' films inspire the look of how you mm. executed this? Because I didn't think mm. of it as like a, a spy movie or an espionage mm. movie at all. No, like it was, no, but you mm. are astute. Um, <laughs> uh, because that scale of movie, uh, you know, I love that scale of movie. I love the Bonds. I love the Bonds. And I love that a movie can take me as a viewer to so many different locations and exotic locations all around the world. Like that's well worth the price of admission for me. And um, to, to be able to do this at that scale with not only a woman in the lead character, but a mother, a, you yeah. know, a mother, mothers being a type of human being that are frequently ignored in, in cinema, it just felt like super satisfying <laughs> to me, <laughs> particularly to have the mother played by Jennifer Lopez, arguably, you know, one if not the most compelling woman in the world of, of you know, of our time. Absolutely. I got the wrap. I have to tell you, my friend Connor Weil worked with you in McFarland, USA, right. and sang your praises. Oh, but I think Connor. you're a total badass and loved working with you. Oh, so. yay. Great. Wow. Say hi yeah. for me. I will definitely. <laughs> Take care, Nikki. Thank okay. you for the time today. Thank, Thank you. See you.